Good day, students and viewers. I am Ma'am Blessing from Mabini Homesite Integrated School. I will be your teacher presenter for this episode of Deped R Teleturuan. Are you ready to learn something new? Our learning target for this episode is write an exposition or discussion on a familiar issue to include key structural elements and language features. Let's begin! Before anything else, grab a pen and a paper or notebook. Do you have them now? Great! Use those to take note of the important details you will observe as we look at a comic strip. Now, I am going to ask some questions. What do you think is the comic strip about? If your answer is about quarantine, staying at home, or anything similar to these, you are correct! What is Hazel's problem? If your answer is, Hazel is bored, you are right! What is her solution to the problem? If your answer is do some art activities, then that is excellent! Have you ever written an essay? Well, very good if you have! Today, we are aiming to write not just any kind of essay, but an expository essay. It is a type of essay that explains, discusses, and clarifies a certain topic. How do we write an expository essay? First, we will select a topic. Next, we are going to find as many information about it as possible. Lastly, arrange the statements to make the essay sensible. Remember that our expository essay should have introduction, body, and conclusion. The introduction must contain the thesis statement. It is the topic and focus of the discussion which should be clear and specific. The body contains supporting details, additional researches, and supplementary information which are factual and relevant to the topic. The conclusion contains a bit of summary of all the information presented. You may also leave an impactful ending so that your essay will remain in the reader's mind. Take note that we should also use transitional words or phrases before proceeding to another thought. Examples are, in addition, for example, furthermore, however, and nevertheless. Additional reminders, since our essays are academic, they must be formal. The use of colloquial words and expressions must be avoided. Wide use of vocabulary is encouraged. And present your ideas accurately and precisely. Let us study this example. COVID-19's Impact to a Child by Romel B. Fuerte the COVID-19 global pandemic declared by the World Health Organization has become what it is. Overwhelming and staggering in number of growing cases and deaths worldwide. The Health Department on April 14 reported the youngest COVID-19 fatality in the Philippines as an infant who is less than one year old. Although reports show that more deaths are among the elderly Children seem to be less susceptible to the virus. That case only confirmed that children are not spared. Aside from getting the virus, they are also vulnerable to the impacts of this pandemic. Children witness families struggling with government lockdowns that prevent their parents from earning a living. Children may lose a parent or an adult caregiver because of the disease. School closures, Home quarantines and psychological distress add up to the negative effects on children's emotional, social, and physical well-being. And for a child, this intimidating outbreak more than meets the eye. It has become, for them, everything. Let us continue to work with the national government agencies and local government units in mitigating possible secondary impact of this pandemic to the children. Part of promoting children's protection 
is providing children with the right information on how to protect themselves, promotion of best hand washing and hygiene practices, and providing psychosocial support to reduce stress, fear, and stigma. Our support and cooperation, less the panic and the blaming game, is what is needed for us to overcome this huge challenge we are confronted with as one humanity. We are one for dear life, one for a healthier and safer tomorrow, one for children. Now, what is the essay about? If your answer is about COVID-19's impact to a child, then you are correct. What parts of essay does the example have? If your answers are introduction, body, and conclusion, then you are right. We can see that everything that has been discussed can be observed in this sample essay. Are you ready to create your own? Remember the comic strip we had a while ago? If yes, very good, because you are going to write an essay applying everything that you have learned in our discussion, and it will be about community quarantine. You may look around you and start writing about facts, situations, and experiences during the community quarantine. Write well, thank you, and I hope you had a meaningful learning with me today. Again, I am Mam Blessing, your teacher presenter for today.